We are going to cover multi-segment analysis with Riverbed Steel Central Packet Analyzer. Note that the Packet Analyzer was formerly known as Cascade Pilot. First thing I need to do is I need some trace files that were taken at the same time period approximately from a couple of different points of my network. So I'm going to go and add some trace files. I'm going to grab these two trace files open them up. First thing I want to do is I want to index these. So I'm going to click on them both, right click, and I'm going to add a microflow index. Notice the name here has changed from trend index to microflow index. I index the two files and then I right click on them again and then I can create a multi-segment source. Notice there are two options here. There's one called create a merge source. This is if you had um, traffic from two different directions and you want to merge those together into a single um, trace for analysis. In my case, I've got similar packets or the same packets in both trace files, so I want to create a multi-segment source to be able to do segment analysis on them. So I right-click there. Notice it's doing a time skew estimation there. You can also do that by right-clicking. I can estimate the time skews. And then if I click on this um, checkbox here, when it says review time skews, it's showing me the difference. So it estimated I've got a time skew of um, quite a bit here, 11, you know, 11 seconds between the two PCAP files. So what it'll do is it'll estimate those, it'll look at, at packets in both directions, and it'll estimate how far off the timestamps are between the two files. So I'm going to apply that, I'm going to hit OK. So it's automatically going to do that when you load the two trace files, and by clicking on this, I can review that, um, that the second PCAP file is off by 11, um, 11 seconds there. So let's take a look at another scenario. In our typical demo that we show, we start with a response time issue and we drill down and we see the server delay is high. What if the problem wasn't a server delay? What if the problem was network round trip time? If we had an issue with network round trip time, we'd want to try to figure out what segment that latency is on. And this is where we could look at our network and we could determine where in our network can we grab some PCAP files from. Notice on my diagram here I do have some steelheads and just to be very clear if the steelheads are optimizing you can't do multi-segment analysis because the packets do change going across those steelheads. However if we're not optimizing we can use the steelheads to grab a couple of our packet captures. We can use our shark in our data center to grab another packet capture and then if we have a way of getting a um, packet capture out of the remote switch we can grab a packet capture there as well. So we end up with four different packet captures at four points in our network, C1, C2, C3, and C4. This is a little bit more interesting than the scenario I just showed you where we only had two capture points. Now we actually have four capture points. So let's take a look. So I have my four files up here in Cascade Pilot. I've already indexed those four files. So now what I want to do is I want to take those four files and I want to create a multi-segment analysis view of those four files. So I select them. I go down and I say I want to create a multi-segment analysis source. And now I see that I have my multi-segment analysis source. I can do the time skew thing again. If I want to check my time skews, I can right click estimate the time skews. Um, once I've gone through that step, now what I can do is I can do some analysis. So I can go down to my multi-segment analysis views, and let's take a look at some of the views we have here. Got a number of different views to to choose from. We'll use one of these one of these new views. Let's start by using the view for multi-segment analysis delay. So we'll do the multi-segment delay overview view. Add that, and as we can see here, we can now see the different delays we have for each one of our segments. So in the simple bar chart we can see we have a large delay between our remote switch and our remote steelhead. So we can see the, the delay between segment 1 and segment 2 and then segment 2 back to segment 1 are where we have our highest delays. 
So without doing any further analysis, just by looking at these this bar chart and, and looking at the delays between each of the points that we've made the captures from, we can very quickly and easily see where we've got our 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 latency amongst all of our different segments that we've collected these trace files for. And we also notice that the issue is in both directions. So we're getting a higher latency um, across these two segments, across this particular segment in both directions. Let's take a look graphically now using a sequence diagram. So now I'm going to go down and I'm going to select a sequence diagram. I'm going to drop that on top of my multi-segment view. So now I can see graphically Based on the slope of the lines, I can see graphically each packet between points 1 and 2, and then back from points 2 to 1, I can see each packet has a long delay um, between each point. Just looking at the SYN packet alone, which really shouldn't have any delay at all, just looking at the SYN, SYN packet, I can see between that remote site switch going to that remote site steelhead, I've got a long delay. So I've basically done my job now. I had a, a very large network RTT. And maybe I found that out by looking at a profiler report, but now I've done my multi-segment analysis, and I've seen my large delays with my multi-segment analysis. I see it's happening between my remote site switch and my remote site steelhead before it even gets out to the WAN. Now let's take a look at another scenario. In this case, I'm working with a customer who has some type of packet loss within their data center. So they've got four different instrumentation points. They've got a shark, which is um, got spans into three different places in the network. And they've also got their steelhead in the data center. So we've got four capture points again, um, C1, C2, C3, and C4 labeled here. Uh, we've got some capture points going across an IPS, which is in a pass-through mode, so it's not supposed to be blocking or dropping any packets. It's supposed to be acting as an IDS, just doing some detection. But the first thing the customer suspects is that the problem is with that IDS. So here are four capture files, C1, C2, C3, C4. And again, C1's at the steelhead before entering our infrastructure. We've got C2 before the IPS, C3 after the IPS. And then C4 after crossing some other switches right before we get to our servers. So we've got our four different points. We're going to select those and create a multi-segment analysis view. Now we can do our thing with the time skews again. In this case, we're just going to keep, keep moving forward. It's always a good idea, though, to check those time skews. We're going to take a look at our different multi-segment analysis views. And we're going to drop a view called packet overview or dropped packet overview. In this case, uh, again, we can see right away where our dropped packets are. The majority of the dropped packets are happening across the IPS. So this segment from 2 to 3 is a segment that's going across our IPS. So our IPS is supposed to be running in detection-only mode. It shouldn't be dropping any packets, even if it sees a security threat. And in this case, we see that we're dropping across that IPS. Notice how I labeled my capture files. I labeled it before and after IPS so I can see the, um, the direction there. Um, I also see I, I have some drop packets coming back in the other direction across the IPS as well. Now again, I always like to look at a sequence diagram as well. If I've got, unless I've got a very, very large trace file, I like to look at a sequence diagram. If you have multiple conversations, in the multi-segment analysis view, it'd be a good, probably a good idea to take a look at one particular conversation first. So I would drop in a IP over IP conversations view first, limited to the conversation I want to look at before I drop in my sequence diagram. In this case, you know, I drop in my sequence diagram, and I see two and three are across my IPS, and there's my big red X here. So I can see that um, the multi-segment analysis has seen the packet show up between one and two but it never saw the packet reach 0.3 in the network. Um, if I scroll down through this file, or if I look at other traces, I can probably see more evidence of this problem. Um, so this is, again, this is a new feature in Cascade take a real quick look at some of the other views I've detected with this here. that I have some drop packets. One of the things you can look at is you can look at things like frame size distribution. So if you suspect um, you have fragmentation, you can also take a look at that. But you can also look at the different frame sizes 
that you have in the network. Another really neat thing here is the QoS distribution. So I can drop QoS distribution on my multi-segment view. In this case I'm looking at four capture points and I can see for all four capture points all of my packets are on best effort. Um, so I don't have any QoS changes. If I had QoS changes, I could drop this view called QoS marking changes on top of there. If I drop this view now on top of there, it's not going to provide me any data because I don't have any changes in my QoS. Another interesting view you can take a look at is you can look at the round trip time overview. So I'm looking at TCP round trip time overview. And I can see uh, for this particular set of capture files, I can see my largest delays between points 1 and 2, and I have smaller delays between points 2 and 3 and 3 and 4. So we're showing um, how that round trip time changes over time. So unlike the view we looked at earlier, where we just looked at who are, what our biggest delay is, this one shows me my any changes I'm having over time. So another, another really nice view to look at. So to summarize, multi-segment analysis can be used for gathering capture files from different places of the network, whether those be on shark appliances, virtual sharks, steelheads, taps, or other instrumentation points. You can join these together on the shark or within Cascade Pilot to provide a multi-segment view into the traffic, allowing you to analyze drop packets, QoS changes, as well as time delay latency issues. Thank you very much for your time.